hello guys and welcome to the video my name is nauri radwan and you are tuned into photomanipulation.com in this video i'm going to show you how i made this floating light effect on this samurai if you are interested in photo manipulation techniques or considering a career in digital art make sure to like and subscribe as we put five videos a week let's roll to the video enjoy So here we have the after and the before image and you are going to apply the uh, lighting technique on this image but before we do that I'm going to explain the technique in a new document. So the step number one is to add a new group and then step number two let's add a new layer and fill it with black. You can do that using the uh, bucket tool, uh, the paint bucket tool. And then we are going to add a gradient map adjustment layer. And between the black and white slides, we are going to add three slides here, three points, whatever you want to call it. In the first one, let's choose a very dark color like this one. And in the middle, let's take this slide up and choose a color that is in the uh, 51 uh, brightness and then we are going to do the same let's take this up to the yellow and let's make it bright and now in between these two layers is where the magic is going to happen and now I want you to remember these two keyboard shortcuts B and E so B is the shortcut for the uh, brush tool and E is the shortcut for the eraser tool. Let's go to the eraser tool and let's make the flow 10% and let's go to the brush tool and make it 30. And let's make the hardness. First let's choose the uh, hard brush and make the hardness 50%. Let's do the same with the brush. Maybe let's make it 30% uh, hardness or 40. Now let's choose the uh, brush tool and let's paint a random shape like that maybe. And then let's click on E and let's erase it. And remember guys, this is a random uh, technique so it might not work for the first time by your luck just like that you will get a different effect but if you do it the uh, right way you will get the uh, effect you want in the uh, first try let's add a new layer and let's paint another shape again and then press e for the eraser and Make the uh, brush smaller and larger by clicking on Alt and then right click on the mouse and move it to the right and the left side. Let's add another layer and then let's paint another shape. Let's choose the eraser and erase some areas of it. So this is how this technique works. Now you can add the hue and saturation adjustment layer at the top and change the blending mode to color and change the color from the hue slide. Now let's go and apply this technique to our image. And now we are back to our image. Let's apply the technique on this image. Let's add a new group and then let's add a new layer. Let's fill it with black by clicking on shift plus F5. Shows black from here and click OK. And then let's add the uh, gradient map. And make sure the slide on the left is completely black because if it's not, it will uh, affect the all the layers beneath the group. And we don't want that. We want it only to affect the layers between the uh, black layer and the gradient map. And let's do the same techniques. I'm in the steps, sorry.
Click OK and now change the uh, group blending mode to screen so we can see the image that we are working on. And then let's add a new layer. Click on the uh, brush tool or click B for the uh, shortcut. Make sure it's on 30% or 20% here. I'm going for 20% and paint, paint a uh, random shape. And then click E for the eraser and let's erase the edges and some parts in the middle. Let's make it big size. And to change the uh, size and the hardness of the brush, make sure to click and hold Alt and the uh, right mouse. And then while are you holding it, if you move the mouse up and down, you will change the hardness. And if you move left and right, you will change the size. This will uh, help you uh, paint faster. Erase these areas and then make a new layer. And click B to add and E to erase. That looks good. And then let's add another layer for the other eye. Let's do the same step again. And then let's paint on the sword. And then for the other sword. Change the colors at the hue and saturation adjustment layer at the top. And then change the blend in mode to color and click colorize make sure it's checked let's make it 50 here and then change the color as you like maybe green or red it's up to you and that was it for the uh, tutorial today in the next tutorials i'm going to show you how i made the smoke effect and the dust effect and how to paint hair Till then, I'll see you in the next time. Peace.